Hi, today I'm going to show you how to knit this beautiful crop top vest cardigan. Let's get started. Please check my description box for all the details. I put some links. You might want to check them out first. This is a part two actual knitting tutorial video. The pattern, all the numbers are based on my gauge and my desired measurement. This is completely customized and size adjustable, which means you have to watch part one video and make your own pattern. In this video, I'm just knitting the project following my pattern. So you download my written pattern, watch the uh, number one video, part one video, then watch this part two video to complete. So again, I'm not telling you why you know cast on number is this number and that number in this video okay if you have any question or need my help to make your own plan leave the comment below okay so let's move on to actual knitting cast on according to my plan I am going to make 108 cast on with scrap yarn. It says multiple of three. Why multiple of three? I will, I am actually talking about that in part one video. Okay, so just make cast on with scrap yarn. When you're done, cut the scrap yarn and tie the knot so it's secure and move all the stitches to the other side of the needle because I want to start with right side which is knitting side okay make sure it's not twisted all right so with the uh, main needle, let's start knitting. I am going to knit 80 rows. That's my desired length. Again, all the number is based on my gauge. If you don't understand why I'm knitting 80 rows from the uh, start, which means you haven't watched my part one video all right so this is knitting from top shoulder part to down towards to the arm hole curve okay and stock net stitch is knitting on right side and purl on wrong side so you just have to you know uh, go back and forth and count the rows. Counting rows is very important because I'm needing only back piece right now. And after the back piece, you have to knit front piece, same row as back piece. Okay? So, just keep knitting. And when I hit my desired length, which is seven inch and 80 rows okay so the yellow line is the shoulder part and knitting towards to you know the bottom part now i want to increase to create the armhole curve okay so still knitting top down only back piece okay and Creating the arm curve is just increased little by little. That's it. 
and I'm going to um, increase 12 stitch within 24 rows, which means I only increase on right side. Okay, so knit one to start and make one right. Picking up the uh, running thread and hook on to left needle and the running thread is shifting towards the right. This is the right position for make one right. And always knit the thread connect to next stitch, not the previous stitch. So knit front loop. This is make one right. Then after this, just knit until one last stitch. Okay. There we go. Just after this, just knit, knit, knit until one last stitch. Then I'm going to do make one left because I want to increase towards the left. So here comes knit and one more. Then again, picking up the running thread and then hook on the left needle. And this time, running thread shifting towards the left. And knit the thread loops connecting next stitch. So as you can see, the back loop is connecting next stitch. So put the straight into the back loop and knit the back loop. Okay? I put the needle straight in, that's because the back side is purl. That's how you remember. And knit last one. And turn the work. And row number two, wrong side, is all purl. No increasing. As I told you, I am going to increase one stitch at a time on only right side. So purl side, no increasing. Okay? And there we go. I finished. You have to finish on wrong side. So next row should be right side. Okay. So the total uh, length from the uh, shoulder to bottom of the, uh, the armhole is 9 inch. This is my exact desired length. So now. I'm not knitting back piece anymore until I finish the, uh, the front piece. So cut the yarn and transfer all the stitch onto scrap yarn because I'm going to move towards to, you know, the front piece. Well, I haven't actually finished the uh, um, f uh, back piece. But I will tell you. But anyway, so far, I needed it 80 rows straight and 24 rows for increasing total of 104. Okay? So, again, now uh, I got to finish top back piece. First of all, you have to transfer all the stitch. Okay? back onto needle so you, I have to take the uh, you know the scrap yarn off right so picking up every stitch I like the uh, picking up from the uh, back because it's easy for me to you know uh, find out which stitch I have to you know uh, pick up there you go and after I pick up every stitch, I am going to actually um, take the, uh, you know, the scrap yarn off. That way, I'm not missing any stitch at all. Okay? And then, after that, I have to divide by three parts, which is two shoulder and one neck. Okay? And this is depend on your size, your 
desire measurement. For me, 30 stitch for shoulders and 48 stitch for the neck because I want to uh, have a little bit slightly bigger neck opening. Okay. And now I am going to knit, you know, uh, kind of, you know, front piece. And I am going to knit right and left at the same time. So you need two skein, but you can actually knit, you know, one at a time if you want. Okay. But this way, I don't know, easy. Anyway, uh, top back piece. I am going to create little, you know, neck carve. Okay. So which means I have to actually decrease stitches on neck side. So this is right side of the back piece. Okay, the first row. Just knit until last five stitch. And then, as you can see, knit two together two times and knit one. Knit two together, uh, you can decrease shifting towards the right. That's why I'm using knit two together on the right shoulder. And again, this is still back piece, okay? And as you can see, I'm gonna knit total of six rows. And left side, same thing, okay? But I decrease, okay, the neck side. So a little bit different. Anyway, I use different ball of yarn, okay? And knit one and SSK twice. Then knit until the end, okay? And total of six rows. So you can finish this, right? By the way, um, there's a reason why um, I decreased two stitch on first row. I just didn't want to um, knit eight rows for the, uh, you know, neck carb. That was a little uh, too many rows. But I want to decrease full stitch total. So I decide, okay, I'm going to uh, decrease two stitch on first row. That's the only reason, okay? I could have, you know, done eight rows, but it's really up to you, you know? Anyway, uh, so this is end of the uh, back piece. There we go. So it's done for the, uh, you know, top of the uh, back piece. And as you can see, there's a little carve for the uh, neck. And so far, I knit 104 plus 6 rows, total of 110 rows total. Okay, that's how many rows you have to knit for front piece. Okay, and from now on, front piece stats. Now, okay, so remember 110, you have to count every rows. Okay, so um, again, I'm gonna actually keep knitting right and left at the same time. And now the shoulder cable kicks in. The shoulder cable itself is 16 and you need to have opposite stitch outside of the cable. And I decide I'm gonna put the pearl three both side and everything else is knit stitch on right side. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
you should have at least one knit stitch at very end because I have to increase later on. Okay, I don't like increasing with purl stitch. So uh, you can add markers like I did, but you know I add markers sixteen plus six. So I include the uh, you know the three opposite you know stitch, but I didn't like that, so I changed it later on. But anyway, so except the uh, cable. Just stocking it stitch until the neck curve. Okay, I will talk about it, but uh, it's gonna be th about three inch, thirty six rows. Okay, so after the marker, I did purl three. This is opposite stitch. It's not the cable design, and now cable design kicks in. Purl two, and C. 4F. Okay, C4F is picking up two stitch with cable needle and hold it out front because C4F cable for front. Then knit two from left needle, come back to cable needle and knit those two stitch on the cable needle. This is cable for front easy okay and then purl four then another cable for front okay the cable knitting c stands only knitting stitch and you usually um, split in half Four divided by two is two, so that's why I pick up two stitch with cable needle, and F means front, so you have to hold the cable needle out front, and then knit two from left and knit two from cable needle. Okay, and purl two. Then next three stitches the opposite three not the cable there we go and when you hit the uh, marker everything else is stuck in stitch which is knit on right side and purl on wrong side that's pretty much it and you have to do this on left side as well same thing okay so how you put the uh, marker it's up to you include the uh, you know the opposite stitch or without fine okay see i actually uh, add more marker because it, it was a little confusing so the uh, the orange and between orange and pink that's the opposite you know uh stitches and with the pink marker, that's only the uh, um, cable pattern, okay? And you can follow my written instruction because it's quite straightforward. And I'm going to jump to uh, row number seven, right side, because lots of T cable. T means twist, twist for back, twist for front something like that and twist means the pearl kicks in as i say c means knitting but the t means twist and pearl involved so i did the uh, the pearl three outside and t four b okay so four divided by two is two so picking up okay two stitch and b means back so hold the cable at the back and now okay which one is pearl always always back needle stitch is pearl so the left needle is front 
right? So need to. Then the back needle, which is the cable. So pearl two on cable needle. Let's do with the uh, T4F. So T4F, 4 divided by 2 is 2. So you're picking up 2 stitch with cable needle this time. And F means front, so out front. So which is back needle? Left needle is at the back compared to cable needle. So you have to purl from left needle to stitch. And then now come back to cable and knit from cable needle. There we go. And let's do one more time. So T4B. So pick up two, hold it at the back. Back means purl. So left is front. So knit two stitch from left needle. And then come back to cable needle, and cable needle is back needle, so to purl from cable needle. It's easy, it's simple. Um, if you understand the rule, but if you don't understand and try to remember, uh, sometimes you get confused. And if you make a mistake, you ruin the cable. So T4F, pick up, which is back needle, left needle is back, so purl. Anything irregular with cable design, okay, always with back hiding needle. Okay, sometimes, you know, one stitch less, okay, it's coming out, so I will talk about it later. Anything irregular, okay, always with back needle. So the pearl is kind of irregular because the, the cable knitting usually, you know, with knitting, right? So anyway, so the row number seven has done and outside opposite stitch, which is pearl stitch on right side. And then knit, this is the stockinette stitch. Okay? So, after this, nothing to tell you, really. Okay? So, you just have to, you know, keep knitting until your desired length for your neck carb this time. For me, I am going to knit 36 rows, then start creating the carb for the neck. There we go. That's the, uh, the, you know, back piece. And as you can see, front piece with the uh, cable. It's easy to see. There we go. So I need 36, which is 3 inch. If you don't want to have bigger neck, you can stop 2 inch, 1 inch. It's really up to you. Okay. And now I am going to create the uh, curve, which is a little bit of increasing. Okay, and I'm gonna actually increase four stitches with Whitson eight rows, same as back, but the back piece only used the six rows, and this time eight rows. So I'm going to uh, increase one stitch on every right side, and no increasing on wrong side. Okay, and after the increasing. I'm going to add new cast for the bottom of the neck, but I'm not connecting because this is not the vest. This is this will be the uh, cardigan. So let's, uh, you know where you have to increase, right? Not outside. It's inside of the neck. So there we go. Knit until last one stitch here for the uh, the right side okay and then i want to increase towards to left okay on right shoulder right neck so 
make one left. So do whatever your cable pattern and then make one left and knit one. This is the reason why I said, you know, the at least one stitch on both edge should have a uh, knit stitch. So when you uh, make a plan, you really have to think. Okay? So left side, knit one first. And then you have to increase because this is inside of the neck. So make one right and knit until the end. Okay. Uh, you have to keep knitting, you know, using the, uh, the cable pattern. Don't forget. Okay. And then, you know, the wrong side up. And just finish the, uh, you know, creating the uh, curve for me. Eight rows, you don't need more than, you know, 10 rows to create that curve. Anyway, after you finish creating the uh, curve, okay, I'm going to actually finish the neck, which is adding the, uh, the cast on for the bottom of the uh, neck. So, now let's talk about the, uh, you know, new cast for the bottom of the uh, neck. Okay, so I need enough length, height, okay, that curve was, you know, four stitches increase and eight rows. So, uh, so far, 36 rows and eight, so 44 rows. Now... At the bottom of the, uh, you know, neck, I'm going to add new cast. This is not the vest, so I'm not going to connect right and left side of the, uh, you know, front piece. Okay? This is open front, front open cardigan. So... Again, I cannot connect right and left. So you have to actually see what I'm going to do. Okay? Well, it's not that, you know, difficult. But you have to kind of cut the uh, yarn somehow. Anyway, let me talk about it. Okay, so this is connecting row. Okay, right after the, you know, finish increasing row, finish the uh, right side. Okay, as same as, you know, usual, any other rows. And then I'm adding new cast, which is 24 stitches for me, which is just a, you know, difference divided by two. Okay, I count, stitch count both side okay and uh, the total cast on number minus those two stitches divided by two you have to watch the uh, you know uh, part one video and i'm adding 24 but i gotta actually confess i add only 20 cast I don't know why I only add 20 casts, to be honest. You know, I did my math, and I knew 24 new casts I have to add, but I add only 20. But didn't affect my, you know, cable, so I just ignore. So now let me talk about left side, okay? Left side, it's a little bit tricky because if I add new cast, the working yarn will be at the very front. Then I have to start knitting the left side, same as the right side, which means I'm going to knit one row more than right side, only for that new cast part 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm actually adding new cast, right? And then start knitting left side. You know what I'm saying? So what I have to do is cut the left side of the uh, working arm, okay? And just leave it there and grab the, uh, you know, the new yarn thread and make 24 new cast like, you know, just like how you start knitting. Okay? And then, okay, um, so if I make a new cast like that with the right side of the needle, what happened is the working yarn is at the end. Okay? So you can keep knitting your left side of the, uh, you know, front piece. So you can leave the new cast alone. Also, you can finish the uh, left side and same level as right side. Okay? There you go. I just actually made 20 new cast instead of 24 by mistake. Anyway, and then just keep knitting. That's it. This is the only tricky part because I want to finish same row, right, as right side, obviously. You know, to be really honest, one row um, doesn't really change much. You know, like I said, you know, I was supposed to add 24 new cast, but I made a mistake in 20 cast, but didn't really affect much. Eight, you know, uh, stitches total, you know, difference front and back. But anyway, so now I add new cast for, you know, uh, whole body, which means, you know, um, front cable kicks in where I, you know, add new cast, both side, right? And I just want to make sure one thing, the front cable needs 13 stitches. Also, you need at least one stitch both side with the opposite, which is purl on right side and knit on wrong side, stitch, okay? So you need total of 15 at least, but I add three stitch both side, so six plus 13 is 19, okay? And rest of the, uh, the uh, stitches, stockinette stitch, knit on right side and purl on wrong side, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm gonna actually show you how to do the uh, cable only with the new technique. So, row number one, okay? I just actually slide the uh, marker and I'm going to make purl three, which is outside of the opposite, you know, uh, stitch. How you put the uh, marker, you gotta be very careful, okay? Anyway, from now, next 13 stitch, that's the, you know, cable design. So purl three to start. That's easy. Next is C3B. C stands knitting stitch. So it's going to be all knit. However, three, you can't really divide it by two, right? So irregular, always back. So you have to divide one stitch and two stitch. And irregular goes back. So you pick one stitch and hold it at the back. And then knit two from left needle. And then come back, cable needle, and knit one stitch. Okay? C means cable. B means back, and irregular 
take a place at back needle. So pearl one, and now C three F. Again, you can't divide it by two, so you have to divide one and two. But the back needle is irregular, and now cable needle come out front, so you have to pick two. And hold it out front, and then you knit one from the left needle, which is back needle, and then come back to cable needle and knit two from the cable needle. Then purl three to finish this pattern, and then purl three. Okay, this is the end of the、uh, you know the cable design, and I am going to actually make purl three, which is my opposite stitch. And after this, the every single stitch will be just a regular knit on right side and purl on wrong side stockinette stitch. Okay, and I am going to.、Um, Do left side, S same thing. You know, I wanna knit at the same time. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna actually make sure one more time. Okay. So the first stitch is completely outside of the、uh, you know cable. So knit one, right? And I am going to change the、uh, marker. And there we go. I'm gonna、uh, make purl three, but this purl three is just the opposite stitch. You know,、uh, some people you know has less stitch count, so this opposite stitch might have one stitch or two stitch. Anyway, and now I just made the purl three. This is already you know the cable pattern start and C three B. Okay, B means cable needle at the back. So I am going to pick up only one stitch and then hold it at the back. Again, the irregular take a place at the back needle. So knit two from the left needle and then knit one from the cable. Then、uh, purl one. You already know the rule. Okay, and C three B. Again, you can't divide it by two because it's odd number. So pick up two with the、uh, cable needle and hold it out front because irregular always take a place at the back needle. So knit one from the、uh, left back needle and then come back to cable, which is front. Knit two. That's about it. And then you know after. The cable、uh, knitting purl three, which is the uh, uh, still pattern, and after purl three, opposite stitch. Why opposite stitch? You need because you the that way the cable design more visible. That's the only reason. Okay, so at least one. Opposite stitch. I didn't want to include in the pattern. That's because you know people has different stitch count. So and people has different、um, preference, right? But at least one opposite stitch, both side of the、uh, you know the outside of the、uh, pattern. Okay. So I just finished the、uh, you know、um, row number one, and you keep knitting. You know, you will have the、uh, you know、uh, shoulder cable, so you have to kind of follow both rows, okay? And just keep knitting. And I meet you actually on row number eleven. Whenever new you know stuff comes in, and there we go. And this is busy、uh, T and three F, all irregular. T means twist. Means the the pearl involved, right? And then irregular, irregular. Okay, so you wanna put the cable needle out front. 
means cable needle is not um, irregular. Okay, so you have to pick two and then leave the cable out front. Okay, so the back needle is left. So pearl one. Irregular take a place at the back needle and T means pearl involved. Pearl is irregular. That's why I just knit from the uh, cable needle. I'll show you one more time. Don't worry about it. And then after T3F, you know, a pearl one, knit one few times. And at the end, T3B. Again, pearl involve three stitch, which means you can't, you know, divide it by two. And the cable needle at the back. So you have to pick one stitch, right? And leave it back. And front left needle, you just have to need two, right? And come back to cable, which is back needle. You just have to make pearl on cable needle. That's it. Okay? There we go. And again, I change the, uh, the you know, marker place because it's a little bit, you know, uh, tricky to think about the outside pearl. So it's really up to you. Uh, where you want to put the uh, the marker, you know, depend on how you want it. Okay, there you go. That's it. And I'll show you one more time. All right, so let's start on left side. Okay, so knit and purl three which is outside opposite uh, stitch, and then pattern starts, okay, T3F, so cable out front, so front needle, always two, and then back needle, which is le left needle, irregular, so purl, one, then back to cable, and knit, Okay, because this is not irregular stitch out front. Okay, so need two. And then T3F has done. Now, purl one, purl one, three times. And then at the end, purl one, then T3B. T3B, purl involve, and purl stitch always one, irregular, back, because, you know, T3B which you can't uh, divide it by two. So T3B, which means pick up the uh, one and at the back, right? So this one stitch will be the pearl stitch, which means knit from the uh, left needle. There you go. And then come back to cable needle, then pearl, pearl one. That's it. So after this, please follow my written instruction and I meet you on row number 19. Okay. And here comes row 19. Okay. This is easy. I just made the pro 4 to start and C5B. Okay. Irregular because you can't divide it by 2 and then now cable needle has to be at the back because C5B, which means cable is the irregular, cable needle is the irregular needle. So pick up two, okay? Five divided by two is two and three. So two back and then need three from the left needle and need two from the uh, cable because C stands knitting, okay? So always less stitch goes, you know, irregular, 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, if C3B, the one stitch at the back, but C5B, two stitch at the back, irregular, less stitch, always at the back. So as you can see, in between uh, front and the uh, shoulder cable, it's just a stock in it stitch, right? And I didn't like that stock knit stitch, so I decide I'm gonna actually uh, do the uh, cable, okay? So anyway, the front cable, you just have to repeat row number one till row number 20, okay? And now uh, let's go back to this uh, stock knit stitch. I just didn't like stocking it stitched there so I decide every 20 rows I'm gonna do C 3 B so uh, pick up three and knit you know um, three then come back to cable needle this is completely spontaneous you know the the cable I wasn't thinking about this so if you have two, a full stitch there, you can do uh, C, 4, B, or you don't have to do anything. Um, do whatever, you know. So anyway, I'm going to actually do uh, C, 6, B there, you know, every 20 rows. So it's really up to you there. Anyway, so you just keep knitting, you know, until, okay, the armhole increasing starts, okay? Just repeat whatever the pattern says. And now I hit the length, which is 24 rows before the ending, Okay, ending of the uh, the arm creation, you know, the curve creation. So now I have to do increasing, which is same as back piece. So I'm not going to show you, okay? The only difference is for front piece, you have cable pattern. And this is completely optional. But I'm going to tell you, okay, I add C6B, right? And this time, I'm actually creating the uh, stockinette stitch right there. And I decide I'm going to actually add C3F this side, okay? That's the C6B, okay, in between the, uh, the cable design. And the... The other side, there you go, that side, I'm actually creating stockinette stitch and I'm getting uh, more stitch. You don't need to, but I decide, okay, I'm going to uh, make 6CF here. So I'm going to keep the, uh, the 6 knitting stitch right there while I'm increasing. And as soon as I hit the, uh, you know, uh, 6 stitch there, I'm going to actually um, make pearl, three pearl, okay? The cable design is more visible if you have opposite stitch just outside of the uh, cable, okay? So you don't need to if you get confused, okay? Um, but I'm going to increase and next row I'm going to make a pearl just outside of the uh, six stitch. That's it. Okay, and that's what I'm trying to uh, tell you right now, but the increasing is same as back piece. Okay, so next row will be row number one for front piece, and whenever I do row number one for front piece, I did 6CB right here. Okay, so same, I'm going to do 6 cf cable 6 front okay i'm still increasing in the middle of the increasing for arm curve so i gotta do uh knit one and make one right here okay this is not important because it's same as the uh, you know back piece 
right? And then the last three, I mean, you know, just before, you know, three stitch before the cable, I'm going to do purl. So knit. And then the last three before the marker, I make purl three, which is outside, uh, opposite stitch of cable. And C3F. Easy, right? You know, six divided by two is three. And uh, cable six front, so pick up three and hold it out front and knit three from the left needle and come back to cable and knit three. So uh, this cable six back and front, uh, every 20 rows, whenever you hit the row number one on uh, front piece uh, cable, it's really up to you. You can actually do more if you want, but uh, you should do uh, evenly so the uh, cable actually looks better. Okay, so I finish on hole curve for front, which means now both front and back are on the same row. For me, I just finished 110th row. This is the time you have to connect front and back and make it one piece. And I have to tell you one thing is you can't not start with right side. Because if you start with right side, you stop right in front and then turn, right? So you need one row more than left. So you have to start with left side, okay? So knit the front piece and then connect with the new cast and back, then connect with new cast on right side, then knit right side, then turn around. So it's going to be all same level, okay? That's the reason why you can't not start with right side. So I cut the uh, yarn for the uh, right side and then transfer all the uh, right side stitch onto right needle because I want to start from left side of the uh, front piece. Okay, right there. And here it comes. I haven't transferred the back piece stitch yet. I will talk about it in a minute. So finish left front piece. No more increasing. However, you have to follow the uh, cable design. Okay, I want to add cable design until the end. So finish the uh, front left. Now, I'm going to add new cast front and back. Then connect back piece. Now, I want to transfer all the back stitch back onto needle and make sure the direction of the needle. That's why I waited because sometimes you get confused. So needle has to knit together, right? To knit. So you know which way to transfer, right? So now I'm going to add 11 stitch for front and another 11 stitch for back total of 22 stitch I am going to make new cast okay and I just made 22 and then start knitting back piece this is only stockinette stitch or knit on right side and purl on wrong side but this is right side so just keep knitting okay again if you think why I add 22 stitch here which means you haven't watched part one video so you have to watch that video and make a plan so knit until the other side and do exactly same thing as the other side which is total of 22 stitch I'm going to add 
this will be the bottom of the arm hole. Okay, and after you add twenty two stitch, keep knitting right side of front piece. Okay, now you made it one piece. Okay, but. I'm not going to knit in round because again this is front open cardigan. So one piece means you just have to, you know, knit back and forth. Okay. Which you know uh, doesn't change anything really. Okay, there you go. One piece and turn around and knit wrong side and keep knitting until your desired length okay that's about it and now close to the end so this is gonna be the uh, crop top so i need long enough and short enough now i change the uh, needle to two millimeter okay and then um start two by two ribbon which is repeat of knit two and purl two if you want to start with you know uh knit two and end with knit two okay uh the number of the uh, the stitch should be multiple of four plus two okay you don't mind uh starting with knit two and purl two then multiple of four Okay, and after you knit desire length with the uh, two by two ribbon, just bind off. But change the uh, needle, okay? Uh, because if you are using a uh, bigger size, like you know the previous you know needle, it uh, will give you a little loose, so it's a little bit stretchy. Okay, you don't want to, you know, wear tight, tight, you know, bottom. There you go. That's it. I finished the uh, bind off. There you go. So now I'm adding rib everywhere, neck, arm, and uh, the front rib. And just easy, okay? Uh, using the uh, two millimeter needle and starting with the uh, neck rib at the very corner corner and uh, edge just knitting up again if you want to start with knit and end with knit you have to uh, you have to have the uh, the stitch count multiple of four plus two it if it's you don't really care you know, at least multiple of four. All right? And same. And I pretty much knit up, you know, every kind of stitch. Not too many. If you knit up too many, uh, the rib will be quite wavy. You know, that's the reason why people say uh, knit three stitch and skip one stitch and then another knit, knit up, you know, um, three and skip one space, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, uh, I actually knit up mostly evenly, but not too many. Okay. And there we go. I knit up all the way and back of the uh, the neck i still have regular stitch because do you remember i start with the uh, scrap yarn i want to keep you know the regular uh stitch as many as i can and those neck stitch just knit and after the neck you know stitch just knit up that's it super easy right and do the uh, two by two ribbon and then bind off the armhole same thing but armhole is 
round. So, which means um, the the stitch count must be multiple of four because you don't want to start with knit and end with knit. You want to start with knit two and end with purl two. Okay. There we go. I already did my neck, arm, then one side of the uh, button rib. Okay, you always do the side you want to add button because I want to make sure where you want to create the uh, button hole. Okay. So, I already knit, I, I believe I knit 12 rows, something like that. And then I already made the plan. Okay, this is my button. And I put the, uh, I believe, 10, 2, 4, so 8 button. Right on top of the, uh, you know, the knit stitch. So uh, you can actually uh, put the button evenly, which means I can create the uh, button hole evenly. So you need up same number as the other side. This is the tricky part, okay? But uh, you have to need up same amount, okay? Otherwise, you know, um, the button location and buttonhole location will be kind of ruined, right? And I actually knit up multiple of 4 plus 2 because I want to start with knit and end with knit. Okay? It's really up to you. It doesn't really matter. Uh, nobody really, you know, says anything. And I knit 4 and then I create the little one stitch space and then knit up four okay because i didn't want to have the wavy you know the rib really so make sure and i use the uh, two rows buttonhole i knit until in the mid of your desired length which is, you know, you already know how many rows that you needed it for the other side, right? So you know when to start. So make sure, you know, uh, you can put the button through, okay? It doesn't have to be too small, shouldn't be too big, okay? So I am going to bind off four stitch. Okay, that's it on this row. So all the way I bind off wherever I want to add the button. Okay, and next row I'm going to create the, uh, you know, new cast on top of the, uh, the bind off. That's it. Okay, super easy. And this has to be in the center of the button, you know, rib. There you go. And turn around. And next row, okay, keep um, ribbon two by two. And wherever um, there's no more uh, stitch because you bind off, you just add new cast. So I bind off full stitch. So I am going to add four new cast. Okay. So right here, purl two to start on back, and then I add four new cast. One, two, three, four. That's it. And you need rest of the uh, the button uh, rib and I, I actually uh, knit one row more than the other side and 
That way, when you put the button, you can cover the other side of the,、uh, the button rib completely, right? So, you know, just the one row more. There we go. This is good. And now, let me talk about the button, okay? I'm already adding some buttons. And all you have to do, okay? Don't put the button right in the center, slightly inside, okay? Slightly inside. So, again, the other side of the button rib, one more row, and then button slightly inside. So, make sure you cover the top of the、uh, top rib, covers everything. Okay? So, when you wear it, you know, it's you know, nice and covered. I don't know. I like that way. Okay. And just the regular、uh, needle and thread. I didn't use the,、uh, the yarn to put the、uh, button because if I use the、uh, yarn,、um, it's kind of stretchy and I don't like it. So, two thread and just、um, secure the、uh, thread first and then. You already know how to put the button, right? And make sure it's slightly inside. There you go. That's about it. Okay? So、um, after you add、uh, every single button, that's it. Again, again, again.、Um, If you actually haven't watched my part one video, you don't understand you know,、uh, all the numbers you know, I you know, pick, right?、Uh, because you know,、uh, if I actually make the,、uh, the plan and actual Nidun, it's going to be a long, long video, which I didn't want to. So, You know, I made two videos. One is making a plan, and this one is actual knitting, right? So,、uh, please watch the,、uh, the part one video. And if you don't understand and you stuck with your making plan, I will help you, okay?、Uh, but again, please do not just ask me, okay, I want to knit large size. What am I supposed to do? Large, how large? Right? You know, the people h a s different, you know,、um, measurement for large size. So, watch the、uh, part one video, knit the,、uh, the swatch, and take a gauge and measurement. All right, that's all I need, and I will help. And obviously, you have to actually tell me your preference. Okay, so there we go. This is done. I put all the buttons. There we go. As you can see, the,、uh, the, the front piece is slightly smaller because of the、uh, cable knitting, but this is completely fine. Well, and you know. I missed eight s t i t c h but it's, it's okay. All right, so thank you very much for watching and enjoy your knitting. Bye for now.